What is going on today, guys? This is Tony from Team Divine Pro here. Coming at you with a much, well, very long awaited Witch deck profile for my EB 11s. Uh, Shadow Paladins will be coming at some point when I finish the deck, but yeah, so let's get into Witches. By the way, noose, I put the sleeves in, so yeah, you know, I got sleeves. <laughs> so, um, starting in the deck, we'll start with our starter. It's a, whoa. One uh, creeping dark goat. So you don't. I don't like the other card because it makes you run grade zeros from your deck, and I'd rather have this to search out for grade threes because the combo the deck needs is very, like, ne like necessary. And as the thing tries to autofocus in, yeah. So yeah, just that's way better. That's in my opinion at least. And after much playtesting with the deck, next up for grade threes we run eight. So we run four. Fiona's. Her ability is a uh, Legion, and then Counterblast 2 when she's in Legion. Let's see if I can focus it. Yeah, okay. So, Counterblast 2, and then if she's in Legion, you can choose, check the top 10 cards of your opponent's deck, and then choose two grade zeros, and then swap them out for anything on the rear guard circles. So really powerful, and then the ability is that if there's another one of her on field, you can pitch it, and then you can draw two cards as long as your opponent has two or more level zeros. So it's a really powerful card and gives you draw power, but also it's the card that sets up for the next card, because it's not the finisher card I found. That's what I've found, and that's what I remarked. So I can't really show all of that, so I guess I'll just uh, push up here, I guess. And then this is the finisher card that you want to have as your finisher, but you can also use it to stay alive. So it is uh, for Cultist Witch Rias. Her ability is that when she's in, you can Legion, and then when she's in Legion, the turn act, like, the other card, she can activate it whenever you want, but then this one is activated once she le Legions automatically, is that for every level 0 on field, your opponent's Vanguard loses 5, um, 5,000. So... Usually, if you go with this one, at least there will be at least two, so then the opponent's going to lose at least 10,000, which is really powerful. And yeah, this ability is really helpful in bringing your opponent down to lower levels so that they have to guard for more. But on top of that, the ability is her, she also has the ability that to, um, when she is attacking, you can counter blast two. I think it's attack or is it activate? It's just an activate ability, I guess. It's that one you can counter blast two and then act counter blast two. And then you can uh, choose one card on the field and then swap it out for grade zero in the opponent. Like, you can choose one rear guard and then your opponent chooses a grade zero from the drop zone and switches it out with it. But it does not consider to the 5,000. The, the 5,000 only activates immediately once Legion's active. So even if you do get a third one out, it does not work. But um, keeping your grade starter, if you can, is also helpful because that helps her out get to her ability. So yeah, a grade threes. Moving on to grade 2 is we play 11. Uh, we run one of the 10k vanillas just because the deck is kind of weak if you look in the triggers and all that. I mean the grades, like uh, what exactly I'm running for the grade 2s. So having an extra 10k is really good for the bot as a solid body because a lot of vanguards now are just 9. So putting a 10k shield when they're boosting for 5 or something is saying um, they're hitting for 14 then you're guarding you only have to put a 10k down so that you guard for no pass which is really helpful so yeah one 10k then we run 4 of the legion mate for Fiona so it's a 12k beater that's what it looks like 12k beaters not much to say there then we run Four of this card, so it's Rius' uh, Legion Mate. I don't exactly know her name, I just know that she's good. And if you want to know what the Legion looks like, it looks something like that. Yeah. So yeah, her ability is that once she's called, you can Soul Blast 1, and then check... Um, then you can choose anything on your opponent's rear guard, and then make them swap out. So, really powerful, gets rid of the grade 3s, grade 2s, really pesky cards that you don't want hanging around. So it's grade 3 or less, so like pretty much any grade. It doesn't specify grade 3 or less, so even a grade 4, if you want to get rid of that Nouvelle Vague that's on the rear guard, you can do that. Although I don't know why you... Well, actually, it does make sense, but yeah. So then four of these, they're a really powerful card. And finally, to round off, we play two Skull Witch Nemain. Uh, Nemain, we only run two of just because you don't want to see it as a Vanguard, and 
Two is far more than enough because this deck is very counter blast heavy alone with just Fianna's and the other cards. So you need to conserve your counter blast and this card at least gives you the draw power. Which is why we run this to make up for the fact that we're running two 3k bodies. Finally, moving on to grade ones, we run... I don't know how many actually. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine... 14, I think? Yeah, 14. So first we run two 7Ks, because uh, like I've said before, we're running Nemains, and uh, 7 7K to 10K attackers become all really relevant with 7K boost ability. So it makes sw Nemains swim for at least 10, which is really helpful. Then we run three uh, Aryan Rod, which is really helpful, because you can ditch cards that you don't need, and then it gives your target for uh, stand triggers, which obviously a play, because they're witches, but yeah. Neat play. Neat play. I'll probably put one to the side to show you off in, in a second. We have three of those. Then we run four Sakuana or something. It's the counter it's the grade one counterpart to the other card to uh her. So what she does is that she can she's called, you soul blast, and you can switch out a grade one on your opponent's side of the field for grade zero. So it's kind of specific but still really good. And finally, we run two of these cards, because they're 6k bodies, so they're kind of weak, but two of the um, card that when it's called, if your opponent has two or more grade zeros, you can kill one You can uh, kill one witch, so pretty much the entire deck. You can kill anything, will kill one witch on your rear guard, and then your, opponent lose, your opponent's vanguard loses 5,000. So it's an extra dampener for the deck, but it's only relevant in certain situations, because their opponent could swap out the... Um, grade zeros, so you only run two of them, and plus they're only 6k bodies, which is why I like only two, and it's been working out perfectly fine, because usually Rios does the job for me. Finally, run three quintet walls. Um, I only pulled three quintet walls, and I was thinking it over, and I'm like, okay, well, it's not a big deal, that big of a deal, because I am lessening my opponent's power levels, so it's easier to take the hits sometimes. So three quintet walls is enough, although I do find myself sometimes being counter blast, like I don't have enough counter blast to activate it. So if anything, I would suggest maybe running some Shadow Paladin um, perfect guards or maybe the the Genesis Witch perfect guard. It's just that you have to make sure that you don't have it in your opening hand so that you don't ride on top of this so this does can become a forerunner and move back. But apart from that, it's really all you need. So two, five, nine, eleven, fourteen, yeah, fourteen grade ones. And then we run the trigger lineup, so 16 obviously for grade zeros. Um, 4 heal, all witches, 4 crit, 4 stand, and then 4 draw. So the neat little play, uh, the reason why I run 4 of each is because I don't, I see the name, like the fact that they're all witches name, in names is very relevant, especially when sometimes you need a call, something like this. I believe that this is when it's called, you get Soul Charge, which is really relevant as well. And the fact that the stands are really, stands are really good in this deck, not gonna lie, just because of the fact that you have Aryan Rod. So say you have something like this, you can tap it before your attack. So I don't know, like you have a, you have a call of maybe, like uh, of her. So you tap the Aryan Rod and then you can ditch a card and draw a card. So it's really relevant in ditching like dead grade threes in hand and all that. So you dish a card and draw one card, and then afterwards, if you check, you you can attack with your vanguard first now, that this way, so instead of having to do the typical swing in with my van, my rear guard first, you can attack with your vanguard first, and then you can check if you get a stand trigger, stand it, give power to something like this column or another column, and then you have a full column to swing for, instead of having something like that. Which is really, it's a little fun, neat de technique. But yeah, um, I guess I can show you the combo that's really important. So, the combo would be to get her. Oh, it's really important to ride a lot with legions, because this deck uses a lot of souls, as you've noticed with the effects. So yeah, you'd be wanting to do that. So you'd go her, activate effect, and then next turn, if they haven't died yet, you can go her, and then activate effect. You've gained enough souls, so you can swap out more grade zeros, and on top of that, you've just deducted them at least by 10,000, hopefully. If not more, because I it is possible to go bring them about down to like negative numbers because in vanguard you can't go to down to negative so it's not just uh positives anyways guys yep that's it uh this has been my witch 
deck profile and I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that this new camera angle is a little bit better than usual and I hope you guys will stay tuned for more videos. Please comment, rate, and like, and subscribe and yeah, this has been Tony from Team Divine Pro signing off. Bye!